Welcome or welcome back to Museum Graph Reads. My name is Elizabeth and today we're going to set up my March spreads in my 2024 reading journal and do a quick flip through of my February spreads. So let's get into it. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that everything's all on paper, I'm going to do a quick flip through of all of my yearly pages, my February pages, and then I'm going to show you my completed ready for the month March setup. So starting at the beginning, our bookshelves are starting to get nice and full, very excited, but my notebook is starting to get very full as well, which means that I'm probably going to have to migrate this into a new notebook. And I would love your opinion, actually. I have two Archer and Olive notebooks that are kind of on deck. I've got another B5 like this one, and I also have my first 8x8 square. So let me know down in the comments, do we want to keep with the tried and true B5 size that's been working for me for the last year? 
Or do we want to shake it up and go with a square? Let me know. So then we've started, I'm trying to do a little bit of a gradient with the rows here. So when you see the colors of the yellow change, it's not because of the month. It's just, I thought it would be aesthetic. Um, I've gone ahead and filled in all of the arcs that I have currently waiting um, and starting to fill out where my review situation is. So making some good progress for the start of the year. Also making some great progress on my series tracker keeping up with my themed content tracker. I need to come in and do March actually. Oops. And then we get back to February. I'm going to be so sad to leave behind my WandaVision spread. I really, really loved it. It made me so joyful every time I opened up my reading journal. So we get to my book and my page tracker. I went back to something that I used to do, which I have these super thin washi tapes and I really like how clean it looks as opposed to my unsteady hand with a marker. Uh, so let me know what you think about that. And I tried out this new calendar spread here on the side. I'm really not sure what I think about it. And I did switch back for March, but read 11 total books in February. So a little bit less than last month, but still holding strong. And then here's a spread you guys didn't get to see last time. The roomies over on their Patreon decided to do a slumber party Patreon readathon for 24 hours. And they maybe made the readathon bingo board a little difficult and none of us actually managed to black it out as was the intention. Um, we could double up. And so I managed to read uh, enough for two bingos. So went ahead and made this super fun spread, keeping in tune with the same color patterns that they were using for all of the graphics. And then as part of the Patreon readathon, they also sent us all really super sweet notes, but also friendship bracelets, which I thought was so cute. So I went ahead and printed off a photo of it using my HP sprocket so that I could keep the memory here in with the spread. And then here's the whole list of the prompts. And then we get into my actual book spreads. So I'll go into more detail on my thoughts. There may be spoilers in the content here, so don't look too closely. As part of my 11 books for February, I had Bride, um, which I really like how all of this turned out, even though there's no purple in this cover. Um, then I had The Fake Mate. So I have my two Omegaverse Light or Werewolf Light titles side by side. And we have Beasts of War, which was my sci-fi fantasy book club read for the month. The Stars Too Fondly, which I feel like I could do an entire video on, and you will hear me gush about it when I wrap up January and February. I promise it's coming. I just got a really nasty bug in February that wiped me out. You might still hear it in my voice. Then we have Waiting for the Flood by Alexis Hall, The Imposition of Unnecessary Obstacles by Malka Older. Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman, You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight by Kayla Barron. Then we get to Combat Codes by Alexander Darwin, which was my Divided by Three buddy read with Sam from Love Sam and Emily from My Chaotic Shelf over on Instagram. Um, obviously, I really loved this arc for Orbital. Um, and then Quozel, which I'm going to have fun talking to you guys about in my wrap up as well. And that brings us to March. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Even though when I first set out to do this, I was aiming for something a little bit springier and this feels a little cozy, a little bit more rustic and um, fallish than I originally intended. But I recently joined Mochi Bujo's Patreon at a level that got happy mail because um, I just really love her artwork and I wanted to get some of those exclusive stickers. So some of the February Happy Mail stickers were all sort of coffee themed. So that really influenced what I ended up doing here. But I liked how the green played with what I was intending for. Because I am the daughter of an Irish woman from Boston. Um, I actually, fun fact about me, was at one point in my life a competitive Irish step dancer. So St. Patty's Day has always been a big thing for me growing up and for my family. And especially when I was Irish step dancing. And when I saw these stickers from Sticky Club, I was just absolutely excited because we have both the St. Patty's Day imagery and the Easter imagery because Easter is actually hitting in March this year. So I thought that pulled everything together beautifully. 
And then I had some really fun stickers from Mari Gonasuli Art, who I will link in the description. I'll link everybody in the description that I can. And if the products are still there, I will link those. Um, but as part of my last order, she sent, she sent a little cute like freebie sticker as a thank you. And so a lot of those actually ended up in this spread, um, as well as some that I ordered because I ordered from her Dark Academia set. So really doing a collage feel this time, I went back to having a monthly spread, but kept it feeling um, less structured to match the scrapbooky feel. So this is where I'm going to track the time that it takes me to read my books and what books I have overlapping. Because as you've seen, I read a lot of books at the same time. And then we get into my pages read. And as you see this month, it is just pages read. We're not tracking anything else on this page. Still trying to decide if I want to go with the washi tape this time or if I'm going to do pen. Um, and then my books read page, which this is another one of the Moshi Bujo Patreon exclusive stickers. It's so cute and I desperately want to go to Oslo. I actually started learning Norwegian during the pandemic. Like I stopped at a certain point, but I like bucket list want to go to Norway very badly. And I think this time I'm going to do something a little bit different from the straight list that I've been doing for my books read. So stay tuned because I've actually already finished a book. So I need to figure out if I'm going to be doing something slightly more artistic or maybe tracking a little bit more information here because I've got some stuff to log. Did I maybe read an entire book in one sitting yesterday? Yes, yes, I did. And finally, speaking of reading a book in one day, it was in fact for a readathon, and those spreads are here. So, Catherine from Bookishly Catherine, the queen of curls and monster romances, has decided to do Monster March Madness. So, instead of doing a bingo board or challenges, we are actually doing a bracket. And I am so excited. I think it's so much fun. As soon as she posted it, I immediately started building my TBR. But we all know I'm a mood reader, so I'm not going to stick to a TBR. But we have eight prompts that fill out your bracket. And from there, you will pick your favorite between the two and so on and so forth until you have the dominating monster romance for the month of March. So I'm going to link all the information about this in the description below so that you guys can participate too. March is a five week month. So you've got plenty of time, lots of fun things. And the best part about a monster romance readathon is that so many options are free on Kindle Unlimited. So if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription, this one should be so much fun and so easy for you to participate in. But let's go through the prompts real quick. And just so you know that there's more description to all of these prompts, I just didn't feel the need to write them all down. So I have only the headline, not the article over here. So number one is going to be Tales Can Be Useful. Then we have Scaly Lizard Man, A Heart of Stone. I did not see that coming. Time to Raise Some Hell. Let's Wing It. I See What You Did There. And A Monstrous Challenge. And then if this isn't enough for you. She even threw in a bonus bingo board. So there's a bunch of additional prompts that you can then participate in, in addition to your March Madness. So it's got a little bit of everything for everyone. And our bingo board has white shoes, short and spicy, queer monsters, read in public, new to you, buddy read, five star prediction, and a hundred plus pages. So I think she's made this super approachable. She's also said she's open to making recommendations to folks. Definitely watch her announcement video if you are looking for some recommendations on what she is reading. I have that linked in the description as well. And that is it for March. Please let me know in the comments what you are looking forward to most in your reading journey this March. I'd love to chat with you in the comments. If you enjoyed this, please consider hitting that like button. If you're interested in more content from me, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And until next time, bye guys.